I'm a CG artist, and in this video, I'm going to show you how he turned this into a movie trailer that would cost Marvel $30,000. This trailer is honestly my best work so far, and I'd appreciate it if you subscribed. So the first thing I did was look up a Spider-Man 2099 model, because my best model I've made so far is a glasses case. I found this one on a YouTube video, link in description, and I started rigging it right away, and there were no problems at all eventually i just went with it because i didn't want to spend any more time on a problem i couldn't fix the next thing i did was try and find a venom 29 model because this trailer needs a venom. <gasps> i didn't end up finding a venom 29 model but i found a venom model and used my amazing skills to make it look like venom 2099 now sadly i forgot to save where i got this model and i can't let you download it because it's not my work please don't hurt me now the next next thing i did was get a city to fight in because no one wants to fight on a gray untextured plane so I found this amazing city that this person created. Phase powered. And I used it. Now I had to adjust a couple of things because the story required it. Anyone that knows their Spider-Man backstory will know this company. Now that I had all my assets ready, it was time for animating. Lots and lots of animating. For this first scene, I went into Mixmo and used mocap data of some guy running and jumping. Mocap data, or motion capture, is just recorded motion of a human being in a suit doing crazy things like Andy Serkis does. Next, I animated Spider-Man swinging, and this was a lot harder than it actually sounds. I already had my reference from The Amazing Spider-Man 2 because, to be honest, this scene slaps. I would track the scene, but that requires way too much effort and knowledge that I didn't feel capable of at the moment. So instead, I spent over five hours trying to replicate it by sight, and I gotta say, it worked out pretty great. After that was done, I went to animate Venom building up. This was relatively easy since most of it was procedural, which means it's controlled by sliders. I wanted this build up to slowly show Venom forming piece by piece because it looks cool and I didn't know how to do it the other way. First, I wanted him to come up from the sewers because that's where he comes from in the comics. I started by making a mesh, subdividing the heck out of it, and then throwing a displace modifier with a cloud texture on it. For the tendril touching the ground, I literally modeled this thing to look like crap rigged it, and then added a cloth simulation to the middle to make it flimsy, like goo should be. After that, I wanted the goo to form into a body, so I used ivy gen with a couple of modifiers to make it look like it's a living thing rather than ivy. The next animation I needed to do was the ultimate payoff of the video. It was the part everyone was waiting for. They wanted to see what Venom looked like in this universe. How do you look different than regular Venom? Those questions were mine exactly. So I started looking at the comics. He had those white tendril things around his body. Let's do that. He has red eyes. Let's do that. He has a white face. Let's... That looks like crap. Why does it look so bad? Well, I guess that was for me to decide. So I made it look like the rest of his body, and it looks so much better. I mean, it kind of looks like Play-Doh. The last thing I needed to do was have a narrator that sounds like Venom. Me? Nope. A friend of mine? For as long as I can remember. Absolutely. So I had my friend send over the recording of him saying the script, and I got that put in. Now all I had to do was edit a cool song that I made so I won't get copyrighted. This is the final result. For as long as I can remember, there has always been a hero. A hero named Spider-Man. Well, I hope you liked the video. It would be super cool if you went and watched the actual video on my channel, because it took way too long to make. Subscribe and I'll make more jazz like this.